So Kaushik, we just uh, closed the Youth Environmental Assembly. Congratulations, first of all. But also, tell me, because I was away, I was at the African Heads of State Summit. What happened? And how did you take, uh, what, what takeaways do you have from the Assembly? It was, it was a great session uh, of the Global Youth Environmental Assembly. We had like more than 400 people from around the world, including young people, children, uh, member states, UN officials, and uh, major groups and stakeholders. Uh, so we had total 17 sessions, including the session on the youth engagement in multilateral environmental agreements, science policy interfaces, and so on. So it was a great. Uh, we had a lot of uh, inspiration from the youth to engage in environmental multilateralism. So tell me, what's the biggest want, we want, that we are seeing coming out of this assembly? The biggest one is that the right of young people to engage in the environmental action throughout all the environmental governance processes. Right. The right to have the voice. Yes. And be heard, not just as an afterthought. Exactly. Yeah. So what do we need to change to make that right come real? To engage with young people throughout the process, not just in the big meetings, also in the national context, regional context, implementation of the UNIA decisions, implementation of the MES decisions, and all other environmental governance processes. So you've been the, involved with the children youth major groups for what? Years in the four years. Leadership, yeah, four years in the leadership position. So during these four years, have you seen any improvements? They increase in number. Mm -hmm. we, we have more than 10,000 people engaging in the Children and Youth Major Group activity organization. Not just that, we are engaging throughout the process yes. in all of even UNEPSPERG, the better understanding of UNEPSPERG. Even we now have a pos in a position uh, to consider all the environmental issues equally. Mm -hmm. And we are making sure the young people's voice are heard in different processes. And so now you will travel back home, and where's home? My home is in Bangladesh. So you will travel back home to Bangladesh. I knew that, but they didn't know that, so I had to make you say it. But anyway, you're going to beautiful Bangladesh. And what will you then do when you get home? How will you bring these messages to your community? I will actually share the outcomes of UNIA. And as I said, that we will push forward further, engaging young people in the implementation of UNIA resolutions and the decisions. And working with the government, yeah, I have started working with the government for the INC process already. Okay. I'm preparing Bangladesh position, and hopefully I'll be working with the government for many other processes. I'm sure you will, because you're a person who is really pushing, and this is why we so appreciate your leadership. Thank you very much for coming. It's really great to talk to you. Thank you.